Admiral Kuznetsov is Russia's only aircraft carrier, which entered service in 1991. Built in Soviet times, it is part of the Northern Fleet. It is key in projecting Russia's military presence in global waters. Its primary task is maintaining air superiority over the sea by flying combat aircraft as part of its carrier aviation contingent. However, Admiral Kuznetsov has spent a significant portion of her operational life undergoing repairs caused by recurring technical problems and outdated infrastructure. Between 2017 and 2023, the ship underwent a lengthy refit following main engine failure and dry dock incidents, including the sinking of floating dock PD-50 in 2018, which severely damaged the deck. Despite modernization efforts, in 2019 a fire on board required additional repairs to the electrical and fire protection systems. Recent reports indicate that repairs are dragging on and may not be completed until 2025, underscoring how outdated the aircraft carrier's design is and how problematic its maintenance is, despite Russia's ambitions to maintain an operational naval force. There are serious suspicions that corruption is a major factor in the ongoing problems surrounding the aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov, and this aspect is increasingly discussed by experts and the media. After more than a decade of delayed repairs and repeated accidents, many in Russia and beyond say the ship's poor condition is not just due to technical difficulties and outdated technology. Internal investigations and sources such as former Russian naval officer Vyacheslav Konovalov state that certain elements of the modernization that cost millions were never actually implemented, and the funds disappeared into someone's pockets. Allegations of inflated budgets and artificially extended repair times cast a shadow over the ship's long-term maintenance. One of the most striking examples of possible corruption is the incident in 2018 when the sinking of the floating dock PD-50, where Admiral Kuznetsov was for repairs, caused catastrophic damage to the deck of the aircraft carrier. This was due to poor maintenance and incompetent management of the dock, with funding for key repair works believed to have not been adequately used. Russian opposition sources, including activists from Alexei Navalny's anti-corruption fund, claim that military-related companies regularly receive large public contracts for repair work without actually performing them well. Each additional day of repair is another million in someone's pocket, Russian analyst Pavel Felgenhauer stated in an interview with Western media. Meanwhile, the state-owned enterprises involved in the ship's repairs are the subject of several investigations into the misuse of public funds. According to an investigation by the independent newspaper Novaya Gazeta, high-ranking officials at the United Shipbuilding Corporation USC, the organization responsible for the modernization of Admiral Kuznetsov, are accused of misappropriating funds and signing contracts with intermediary companies at unreasonably high costs. While these allegations have not yet led to public criminal proceedings, repeated delays and emerging problems with the ship appear directly linked to the waste of resources, underscoring the extent of systemic corruption in Russia's defense industry. The recovery of Admiral Kuznetsov is not only a technical but also a financial challenge for Russia. According to unofficial estimates, Completing the planned overhaul of the aircraft carrier could require between $500 million and $1 billion. This amount includes the cost of replacing major components, repairing aircraft equipment, and upgrading onboard systems. In the context of Russia's current military needs, such an investment seems imposing, especially given the limited resources the country has at its disposal after years of economic sanctions and rising costs of military action. When you compare the cost of repairing the Admiral Kuznetsov with the day-to-day -day costs of the war in Ukraine, it becomes clear how deeply Russia is mired in financial commitments. According to data from Western analysts, Russia spends an average of between $50 and $100 million per day on its military operations in Ukraine. 
In a month, this means from $1.5 to $3 billion, which is significantly more than the amount needed to repair the aircraft carrier. Such financial strains call into question Moscow's ability to maintain a balance between strengthening its military presence in the Black Sea and the need to maintain its naval aviation. These costs, in the context of Russia's defense budget, which for 2024 is expected to be around $100 billion, put Admiral Kuznetsov in a delicate position. The coming months will show how the Kremlin will prioritize its resources, especially as the conflict in Ukraine continues to require significant financial and human resources. Faced with expanding military commitments and the need to modernize its naval infrastructure, Russia may be forced to make difficult decisions about where to invest its funds. The future of Admiral Kuznetsov remains uncertain. When compared to other aircraft carriers in the world, the Admiral Kuznetsov demonstrates significant differences. For example, the U.S. Nimitz and Ford-class aircraft carriers have newer technology, improved control systems, and greater capacity for operations. They are designed to operate autonomously in extended military missions, while Admiral Kuznetsov often relies on support from ground bases. In addition, recent innovations in aircraft carrier construction by other nations, including China and India, also pose challenges for Russia, which continues to face technical difficulties and modernization delays. The problems with Admiral Kuznetsov have a significant impact on the local economy and industry related to shipbuilding and military production in Russia. Many businesses involved in ship repairs and upgrades face uncertainty and job losses due to long delays and corrupt practices. Workers who depend on Admiral Kuznetsov-related projects face unstable incomes and unemployment, underscoring the need for reforms in Russia's industrial policy. At the same time, public procurement related to military projects often goes through intermediaries, which increases the risks of wasting public funds and making services more expensive. The future of Admiral Kuznetsov remains uncertain, despite Russia's ambitions to maintain its naval power. According to current estimates, the aircraft carrier's overhaul could take until 2025 to complete, and technical and financial challenges still lie ahead. Furthermore, the need for significant investment to replace major components and upgrade onboard systems raises the question of whether Russia can afford such a spending program in the context of ongoing military engagements, particularly about the conflict in Ukraine. The coming months and years will tell whether the Admiral Kuznetsov will be able to return to active service and what role it will play in Russia's strategic plans for a naval presence in the world's oceans.